five reasons why people fail the CAP exam. Five reasons why people fail the CAP exam. Five reasons why people fail the CAP exam. First one is prepare. They fail to prepare. Um, if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. There are a lot of things you could do uh, to prepare for the CAP exam, such as buying the CAP um, official guide, uh, the textbook, uh, going online, researching how long the CAP exam is, how many questions uh, the CAP exam has, um, downloading the um, exam outline or the course outline. Um, downloading the CAP exam kit from ISC Square. There are many things you could do to prepare for the exam. And, you know, the most important one is studying, actually studying for the CAP exam. So that's one of the reasons why people fail the CAP exam. It's not a, a tough exam, but if you do not prepare, you will definitely fail. It's something um, that you can't really guess what the answer is. You have to know um, what the answer is. So the second reason why people fail the CAP exam is not knowing the RMF roles and responsibilities. There are different roles within the risk management framework, such as the information system security officer, the uh, security control assessor, the system owner, the um, authorizing official, the risk executive function, there's so uh, many roles and responsibilities that you need to be aware of. The third reason why people fail the um, CAP exam is not knowing the risk management framework phases, not knowing the RMF phases. So there are different phases within the RMF, um, the prepare phase, categorize phase, select phase, the implement phase, the assess phase, the um, authorized phase, and the monitor phase. You have to know those phases in that uh, sequential order to pass the CAP exam, because trust me, questions are gonna come from uh, knowing the phases of the RMF. The fourth reason why people fail the CAP exam is not knowing the different tasks within the RMF. So the different tasks within the RMF that you need to be familiar with, um, you don't have to know um, word for word what it says in NIST 800-37, but you have to know what happens within each phase of the RMF. When is the SSB signed? When is the assessment actually done? When is the SAR uh, produced? When um, do you monitor uh, information systems and the environment. You have to know um, the sequences, you have to know the different tasks within the RMF. And lastly, the fifth reason why people fail the CAP exam is not knowing the NIST special publications. So there are different NIST SDs, special publications, that relate to the CAP exam. Uh, such as NIST 800 um, eight, uh, NIST 800 60 and NIST 800 63, NIST 800 53A, uh, NIST 800 30. There are different um, special publications within uh, the CAP exam that you need to be familiar with. Um, there's also FIPS. 199, FIPS 200, you have to be familiar with these documents and know um, when these documents apply within the phases of the RMF. Um, so if you learn and master all these five things, I believe you will be successful in taking the CAP exam, and I believe you will ace the CAP exam. So if you need um, any guidance, if you have any questions, uh, comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, on to the next time. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. 
this course comes with tons of videos, uh, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp, it comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at Cyber First Solutions. Thank you.